Running water is a great thing to have on a boat, but when the winter comes around, it's time to put the system to bed. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps necessary to winterize the water system. If you have a hot water heater, switch that off so that we don't burn out the element. We need to pump out as much of the water as we can from the fresh water system. I'm going to leave that running until the tank is empty. Before adding any antifreeze, I need to bypass the hot water tank. We drain all the water out to make sure that there's nothing in there that can freeze. And of course, this is a 12 gallon tank. I don't have to fill this up with antifreeze. The tank is now empty. So what I'm going to do is add three gallons of non-toxic antifreeze, and then I'll be running that back through. Some tanks will have some water remaining in them, even after you've pumped them out. Make sure that you put enough antifreeze in there that any water remaining won't dilute the antifreeze. So once this is in, we can go inside and run it through the faucets. Once I get pink antifreeze coming out of the faucet, I know that the system's winterized. I'm gonna turn off the breaker. So I've actually added a label that says it's winterized so that anybody else comes on the boat, they know not to turn this on. 